hybrid or utilitarian? It's a question that many golfers ask, but which one is right for your game? Today, four lucky bunker readers are going to find out the answer. We're here at Taylor's National Fitting Centre at Craig Law Golf Club. We're going to receive a custom fitting. They're going to see what the performance benefits are of the new 718 TMB and the new 818 hybrids. We're going to try both, go through a real in-depth custom fitting and find out which one suits our game the best. So let's hand over to our readers and see how they get on. Just historically, I've always played long irons. I mean, when I started golf, there was no such thing as a hybrid, really. Uh, and I guess a lot of the, the golf that I play is, is links golf as well. So I'm used to playing in the wind and a, a long arm and fatigue's excellent. So unfortunately, age is catching up with me a bit. So I will be interested to see whether the hybrid works for me in terms of strike and uh, consistency, really. I think the thing that I noticed the most is the difference in flight. Uh, it was slightly higher than my, my old 2 to uh, But I think it's the, the strike, uh, the forgiveness of the strike is the thing I noticed the most. Well, Stephen's always been quite a strong long iron player. Um, he's felt over the years that his distance gapping has maybe not quite been as good as it could be. Um, so what he felt was with the TMB 4 iron, it performed way better than his current 4 iron. A lot more height, more carry distance, but almost more importantly, steeper landing angle. Um, and the combination of that with a slightly stronger lofted hybrid meant that he was in a position that he was able to have shots into greens, take on pins from distances that he wouldn't be able to go through from before. I've never been the best long iron player. Um, I've always preferred him hybrid, so I'm looking forward to trying to rescue his hand the new long irons. If you're getting about a green being 30 yards long, you can land that pretty much all the way up the green and have a pretty good chance of stopping it. Whereas the hybrids come from. Yeah, I would definitely say so. Um, Seems like it's, it's got a lot of height coming down, a lot of soft stuff, um, and they say a lot more forgiving, so hopefully misses aren't as bad as my current club. Alan's a very low spin player throughout his whole bag. He's been fit for his irons as long as the irons are five iron, which is a really good fit for him because with low spin, he really doesn't flight long irons particularly high. So the hybrid gave him a much better option to be able to cover the yardage he wanted to be able to hit, but to do it consistently with that height and with the stopping power means he's now got a club in his bag that he's going to be able to hit into greens from distances he wouldn't be able to hit from before. I play at a course where it's relatively short and quite narrow, so I think a long arm would be perfect to keep it in play rather than a hybrid, which is a bit higher. I've never, had a, never had a long arm, I've had a hybrid and never been the biggest fan of them, so it'll be interesting to see what so it's my game most. Solid there. Forty-nine land angle. Two more solid. Yeah, I'm looking at the ball. You were one seventeen point seven. TME was one twenty two. That height was one twenty eight point six. I wasn't expecting that coming into it, but seeing the seeing the numbers and watching the ball flight and there's no doubt about it. Yeah, they, they went much higher than my long arms just now, which is. It's good going into par threes and taking shots on the par five. So the, Robbie was an interesting case because he's been fit for his irons before, but to be honest, the top end of his bag is longer irons and maybe didn't quite perform as well as they really needed to. Um, so the gap in that we're looking at was important from the five iron being the longest iron up to his three wood. So we tried to get the gap in right with regards to the distance the ball was going to go with the hybrid, but also from a trajectory perspective, given better stopping power. Um, the TMB for him was an option, but realistically just gave him too flat a ball flight. One of the issues that he's got just now is with his longer irons, he struggles to get the ball to stop on the greens. So the hybrid gave him a much better option to get the carry distance he was looking for to cover the four iron yardage, but with the stopping power he'd really associate more with the likes of a five or a six iron. I have my bag, I don't use it, I've replaced it with a hybrid that solves a kind of a go to club for me as well. So, but I'd be interested to see what the figures say when they maybe try the different clubs out. Okay. 
it feels really good in your hand, it's solid, but the, the launch angle, the ball leaving the, the club is very high and I can see the benefits of that. That was a good contrast yeah, because the, the issue was an iron. I was always happy with a hybrid, but to see an iron with a kind of newer setup, but it still kind of reinforced the, the hybrids all over the club from, from my level of ability. So Stephen again is again is in a summer prison some of the other guys that we've seen today where He's been quite sensible, he's actually taken his 3-iron out the bag off his own back. Um, he felt his 3-iron and 4-iron were starting to get too similar in terms of what they were doing distance-wise. He wasn't getting anywhere near the height that he needed, particularly for the golf course he plays at, with the 3-iron. And he put in a hybrid as a replacement. We see a lot of players do that, replace a 3-iron with a hybrid. The problem is, without going through the fitting process, they don't necessarily get the right yardages and the right trajectories. So, with a little bit of change to the loft, a little bit of change to the shaft length and the shaft height, We've got Stephen in a position now where he's able to hit a hybrid consistently the yards he needs to, but with a flight that lets him stop the ball in the green and, and really get the ball closer to the ball. So that's all of our readers now received their fitting, and as you can hear, they're really impressed. For a couple of them, the Simon 1 8 TMB could easily slot into the bag. The added height, the added performance, distance that the TMB was giving over some of their long irons was really impressive. However, with all of our readers, we found that new 818 hybrids could fit into the bag perfectly. Graham was able to dial each reader in to get the perfect perfect match of distance, peak height, stopping power and great spin rates. What this means is they've got the perfect gap now between the longest iron and their three wood and a fantastic scoring club. If you want to know more about either the TMB or the A1 hybrids, click the link below and thank you for watching.